first and foremost, the uh, and this this is in a way the envy of every other city in North America. We are intrinsically linking land use with mobility. That is the most important thing. We have looked at mobility before and transportation plans and we've done municipal development plans in the past but never have the two been done together looking at each other all the time to make sure that as you grow your city sustainability is the number one driver no pun intended. This is about a long-term strategic direction to increase mobility choices, balance off the cost of infrastructure with new growth and development, recognizing that intensification is going to occur over time, and realize that it's a 60-year document. But it's not a fixed document. I think the mayor said it well today in his defense of the planet principles. Council has agreed on the principles of Imagine Calgary. They've agreed on the directions of planet. Any move to delay it now is just an attempt to kill it. Because what those aldermen who want to delay it want to do is they want to push it right into the election in 2010, where they can obfuscate it and make it confusing and convince people that it's evil. Right? And I'm very much in favor of this council doing what it's been doing for five years, continuing in this direction, and ensuring that this thing gets passed. Like I say, it's not perfect. That airport trail tunnel has to be there. It's the single most important piece of transportation infrastructure for the city. But it's certainly better than what we've got now. And I really hope that they move forward with it. And when you go through it, of course it's not perfect. That's the intent of a public hearing. If you think you're going to get this document right, and there's going to be a parade of people to stand up and speak in favor of this, well, you're at a different public hearing. Well, you know, we're going to have the public hearing in June. To me, that's the most important thing, that we actually don't delay the process. Sure, we delayed it maybe a day, maybe a week, but that's not substantial. That's not a delay, really. Uh, it's, um, this is far too important a document to, um, to wait. We have spent a lot of time working on this. We've heard from a lot of Calgarians. 25,000 Calgarians have actually put the, given their input into how, what kind of city that they want to have. Uh, that um, I think at the end of the day, we've got to get on with it. And that's what this is about. Increased mobility and mobility choices for Calgarians. I haven't heard one member of council debate that that's not a good thing to do. Moving goods, truck, road, rail increasing transit service. It optimizes infrastructure within this city. Why? Just look at the deferred capital budget and you'll know why. It links land use decisions with transit and it links land use decisions with the infrastructure. Something this council has already agreed to do. And something, by the way, the citizens of Calgary have been demanding us do because of the cost required. Why you would shy away from one of those key directions is beyond me. It says that we're going to balance off Greenfield with established communities. That we're going to take a strategic approach, and that's what we're here to do. Planet Calgary is about us choosing the city that we want to have. They're the, choosing the city that we want to have for our kids when they grow up. And I think that it's incumbent upon us to make that choice and not just let it happen because we've seen what's happened when we just let it happen. We've lost, we have no semblance of sustainability. We have urban sprawl. We have uh, decreasing air quality, decreasing water quality. We have 50% of our landscape given over to vehicles. Um, that's because we've just let it happen. This is about choosing the city that we want to have. I think it's important.